Okay, so just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the things we've been working on in Dasher, um, or Dasher 360. The f first thing you'll see at the bottom is the timeline. So we'll see that particularly is useful for surface shading. Um, but what, but, and I think you've probably seen, may have already seen a video related to that. But, f but the other thing that's interesting, and I think is going to be very useful for people, is some of the work that's been done in the center list. So here is where we typically can list all our sensors. If you remember, we have model sensors, position sensors, and unpositioned sensors. So as before, you can go ahead and sort of filter that list based on the name. But one thing we've gone and added, which is new, is a separate filter based on type. Now, this list of icons here gets, gets populated based on the type of sensors that are inside the model. So here we can take a look at, at motion. You can also see that it's just driving search. So we also have, we've, we've got this, if you wanted to type in, um, you know, the hash or pound, CO2, etc., then you could do that manually in the search box as well if you wanted to. So this is one way you can take a look at, at various types of sensor. Um, let's take a look at the te temperature sensors. And the same thing, of course, if I turn on the, 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 the sensor nodes, of course, all this applies to those as well, which is which makes perfect sense. Now, um, the other thing which is interesting is that this is kind of a metadata filtering, but we also have it tied in with the spatial filtering as well. So before, what would happen is you'd hover over a particular floor and the sensors for that floor would be displayed. Well, what we're also doing now is to have the subset of, of sensors that are, that are specified by the sensor list displayed for that particular sort of area in the building and also have those sensors um, display inside the list itself. So here, of course, we can do things like sort of, uh, you know, hide all the unconnected sensors so we, don't, we only have the green ones. And then it's just very easy to, to, to find the sensors that are, that are of interest to you and then to, to get their data and sort of drill into them as you would have done before. So that's kind of um, that's one you know one big change that we've made related to the to the sensor list. Uh, the next one, I suppose, is and you may already have seen it, but uh, as I mentioned, all these sensors, uh, the types of sensors that you can filter on, are driven by the model um, inside our surface shading mechanism, which shows you know the distribution of, of in this case temperature over a particular um, area you can also see the various type, other types of, of, of sensor that are in there as well um, whether it's current or humidity or sound so sort of we put in these um, you know the, the, these sensor types get brought in like that so the other thing we can do if you look down at the at the timeline is that you'll you'll see that we have a period that's selected inside the timeline here which we can modify um, and if you hit we choose to hit play now let's probably go back to temperature I think that's where we have the most data um, but if you hit play then you should see the variation of temperature during that time period we can go ahead and broaden that out of course um, and work with it to, to find the period that's really of most interest. In case that's going too quickly, you can also go ahead and modify the, the frequency um, and, or, or take it slow, you know, so we can, well, there's d d different ways to, to cut it. You can change the speed, you can change your resolution. Um, but in this case, it's gonna go quite a bit slower, but it gives us um, a better chance to sort of focus on, on that data, assuming there is some data. It's a, uh, ah, there it is, there is some. Okay, so that's fine. Um, that's more or less it for this particular um, update, I would say. I mean, we're working on some really cool stuff at the moment that I think will be in, of interest to people, such as video sensors. So if you have CCTV links, um, that all gets coordinated using the timeline so you can see Ideally, you'll be able to see surface shading alongside um, movement of people captured by, by video camera. Um, so all those things correlated, which is pretty interesting. So I'm 
hopefully be able to give you an update on that at some time in the near future. Okay, thank you very much.